Happy Friday, everyone. I am Scott Ewart of Carroll County Observer and Scotty's blog, uh, bringing you the latest updates on new candidate filings in and around Carroll County. So we're going to start with the local races that I'm following, which is County Commissioner and Board of Education. And over the past week, we have had zero, no new filings. Uh, so I really don't have anything to report out on the local level. Uh, we're going to move on to the state level, looking at District 5 for uh, Senate. And we still only have Justin Reedy, uh, the current senator for District 5, as the only person that has filed. Uh, so let's look at delegate. And we had some interesting stuff happen in the delegate race. Um, current County Commissioner Stephen Lance filed to run for delegate in District 5. He filed on February 14th. You can see that here. Uh, there's an article on the blog if you want to get more information. Also in District 5, uh, we had a filing from Scott Willens. Now, outside of the filing, I have no information about this candidate. A Google search and a Facebook search did not bring up uh, any additional information outside of the filing. So if anyone has contact with this candidate, uh, let me know, um, and I'll try and get more information out to the followers. Other interesting, so those were the two filings for up to six candidates in District 5, but some other interesting stuff that may be coming for District 5. Shared by Carol Republican Victory Facebook page is the Boucher for delegate. Um, Boucher uh, shared this, I guess, across his personal page, and then Carol Victory, Carol Republican Victory shared it. If you take a look at um, Eric Boucher's website, it's still pretty much branded with county commissioner, but uh, there is this uh, sign for delegate on the website now. So I would expect a filing sometime soon. And uh, I would expect, I believe he would enter the District 5 race, which would give us three current county commissioners potentially in the District 5 race, Frazier, Wentz, and now potentially Boucher. So District 5 is very interesting in uh, the delegate race and one I'll be watching very closely. One other filing I want to mention, in District 9A, you had Scott Gendrick. I uh, hope I'm saying that right, Gendrick. Um, file in the District 9A. Now look, he has a contact information address of Eldersburg. If District 9A is changed, as I expect it to be, um, and uh, this Eldersburg, if this is Scott's address, uh, this would move him into the District 5 race. Uh, Scott has a, a website listed in his filing, but if you look at it today, it is not up and running yet. Uh, for those familiar with Patapsco Distilling in Sykesville, uh, you may know this name. Uh, Scott Jenderick is listed as the founder of Patapsco Distilling. So Scott, look, when you have your campaign event, kickoff, whatever it may be, and if you do it at this at Patapsco Distilling, which is a wonderful venue for this, uh, and you have an open bar, please invite me. You know, I would love to come covered from, from the Carroll County Observer, take some photos, uh, say hi. Okay, folks, that's all the new candidate filings I have. Um, obviously, I'm watching what happens with the courts and redistricting, although it doesn't sound like that's going to be anytime soon, based on what I've read up to this point. Uh, the last thing I want to mention are some upcoming candidate interviews that I've got scheduled for um, Carroll County candidates. Tomorrow morning, Ray Fava, who's running for Carroll County Commissioner in 2022, will join me at 9 a.m. for a candidate interview. Uh, he's currently filed in District 4, but it looks like he'll be running in District 1. We'll talk about that a little bit and about um, issues um, or items on his platform. Uh, scheduled for next month, Amanda Jazowski, hopefully that's close. Um, she's running for Carroll County Board of Education in 22. Um, she's scheduled to do an interview with me on March 21st at 8 a.m. So just add that to your calendar. If folks out there have questions for these candidates, um, please send those to me and I will see if I can work those in. For any candidates interested in doing interviews with Scotty's blog slash Carroll County Observer, I've got a new page on the website, a candidate interview calendar, where you can see a list of open dates that I have um, kind of set time aside to do these candidate interviews. Most of them are on the weekends right now. Uh, I, I can be a little flexible, but you know, I've got work and family time and 
uh, weekend mornings are just best for me. Uh, you can see um, where it says open time or interview with, you can click on those to kind of see what's coming up. Below the calendar, you can see upcoming interviews that are scheduled and confirmed. So in Carroll County, like I mentioned, you got Ray Fava on February 19th, and Amanda Chazowski on March 21st. I've got a whole bunch coming up for Howard County candidates running. Um, and so folks, if you're running for office, you want to do one of these candidate interviews, it's some free press and free, free publicity for your campaign, email me at scott at scotteblog.com and we'll get you on the calendar. All right, folks, that's it this morning. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a great weekend. This is Scott E. Signing out.